It's the end of the week and what has now become usual, Israelis are back on the streets. They are demanding the rollback of now halted judicial reforms introduced by the government led by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. The protest comes just a few days after several right-wing Israelis demonstrated in favor of these reforms. This highlights the divide which these laws have created in the Jewish state. Tens of thousands of Israelis took to the streets in Tel Aviv for the 17th straight week on Saturday. Demonstrations have been kept up across the country despite Netanyahu putting the laws on halt. Protesters in a sea of Israeli flags marched on the streets with torch flames in hands and giant banners. They gave reasons for what has kept them up for protests since months. now scenes of scaffolds were also witnessed this happened when protesters tried to block a highway near the protest site. Police dispersed them and a handful were also detained. This week's protest has a high significance. The summer session of Israel's parliament, the Knesset, is around the corner. Moreover, thousands of pro-government citizens have demonstrated in favor of the reforms in Jerusalem on Thursday. Just like the government, they too believe that reforms are needed to curb the overreaching powers of judges. Amid these events, it is important for anti-reform protesters to display a show of strength and continue to maintain pressure on the government. The laws give the government a wider reach over the Supreme Court. It allows it to overturn its decisions as well as appoint judges. These laws were introduced back in January and since then have widened the gaps in already divided Israeli society. Critics of the law say that these reforms threaten the democracy and will open more doors for corruption. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.